On the heels of trial starting for alleged crime boss Michael Miskey, his half-brother John Stansel turned on Miskey today and took a plea agreement. Stansel appeared in court this morning and pled guilty to one count of conspiring to violate racketeering laws. In exchange, the government dropped some of the counts against him. Stansel explained to a judge his role in chemical attacks at Honolulu nightclubs, assaults, and a murder-for-hire plot. Stansel told a judge that was all part of the Miski enterprise. Stansel faces up to 20 years in prison and will return to court for sentencing in May. Meanwhile, the prosecution and defense wrapped up opening statements today in the long-awaited trial of Michael Miski. Christy Tomashiro spent the day at federal court and has details. Murder for hire, drugs, weapons, and more. Alleged crime boss Michael Miski appearing before a packed courtroom Monday to face a slew of federal charges. The prosecution started opening statements describing Miski as the top of the Miski enterprise that operated in the business world and underworld. The prosecution often referring to Miski's associates as his muscle, enforcers, and thugs, saying, quote, the defendant used fear, violence, and intimidation to get what he wanted. What he wanted was money, control, and revenge, end quote. It sounds like the government gave an overbroad view of what each of the witnesses will testify and what the evidence will show. The prosecution detailed instances of alleged business fraud, violent crimes, and black market schemes. Prosecutors citing examples they say show how Miski and his associates intimidated customers of his many businesses. Prosecutors said Miski also ordered assaults on car dealers who bid more than him at auctions and also ordered chemical attacks on two competitor nightclubs, releasing a tear gas-like chemical into the venues and the murder for hire plot of Jonathan Frazier. Miski's son's best friend, who Miski blamed for his son's death following a serious crash. Prosecutors saying Miski would speak in codes, referring to his orders in baseball terms like first base meaning assaults to home runs meaning murder and always needing a full bench of associates to carry out his plans. When it came to the defense's opening statements, Miski's attorney spent majority of the time portraying a picture of Miski doing community work through his company, Kamaaina Termite and Pest Control. The defense saying Miski is a good man who had a hard life. Miski's attorney adding with his company, Kamaaina Termite and Pest Control, he took on the riskiest jobs at iconic venues like the Blaisdell, Waikiki Shell and Hokulea to help the community. The defense also asking the jury to be wary of the government's witnesses some who were associates of Miski, detailing the witness's criminal history, adding, quote, the people of Hawaii trusted him the entire time, end quote. The defense also asking the jury to be wary of the government's witnesses, some who were associates of Miski, detailing the witness's criminal history. Legal experts not involved with the case say this is a normal tactic. In order to attack the reasonable doubt, we have to show there's no evidence, there's no recordings, and we have to attack the credibility of the witnesses testifying against our client. The Miski trial continues Tuesday morning with the first witnesses expected to take the stand. Christy Tomashiro, KH12 News, working for Hawaii. We will continue to follow Miski's trial and provide you with the latest on air and online at khon2.com.